I recently had the opportunity to talk to Stefan Kruger, the sales director of REM, and about his trip to Ligna. So you've come back from Ligna. How was it? Coming back from Ligna, it's, uh, it's been an eye-opener once again towards what the market has shown us. So what our suppliers has decided to show us as new products, new technology, and uh, new innovations, and it's been fantastic. Uh, even though there's a lot of talk uh, that the exhibition has not grown in size, but actually decreased, it's been fantastic, and it's really been fruitful for us as, as REM as well. Okay, so in your feeling, you think it was quite a success this year? Yes, for sure. And, uh, in the point of view of coming from REM, we definitely did not anticipate that we would have such a successful or prosperous Ligna or first Ligna, if we state it like that, because it was obviously there's a lot of things involved. You, you always think there's only a certain amount of customers that know about you. There's only a certain amount of customers that, that would support you. So we went out to Ligna to anticipate not sales, but to anticipate discussions with, with our suppliers, to look for new suppliers, to improve our product basket, um, to give a better solution to our customers' requirements at the end of the day which we were flabbergasted because essentially we did spend a lot of time on, on exactly what we wanted to do, but we also spent a lot of time and really a lot more than we anticipated with South African customers. Now, did you secure any new agencies at Ligna? Yes, we did secure a few sole agencies. We go out doing the business in the, in the opinion that we don't really want to compete with the same product with our competitors. We need to offer something else. So basically what we added to our basket was a leader in the market in the sanding industry, which is called Weber, uh, German produced sanding machines and, and sanding solutions for anything from solid wood veneers, paints, uh, sheet metals, uh, various types of other products also that can be sanded, and, and various ways a lot of solutions that they offer. And we've decided to go with them. Actually, to be more precise, if they decided to go with us and not us with them, they actually approached us and, and asked them and we had the discussion. And we concluded that there was a new partner for Weber in, in Sub-Saharan Africa. Then together with that, we were looking for some vacuum presses. We located a company by the name of Maxa, which produces a really high quality machine at really affordable prices. And, and we really think that's what the market needs at the moment. Then we had a look at little consumables that we would like to add to our company's basket of products, which we decided, as we saw the art and the biometrics, there's a lot of cleaning systems on these machines. We needed the consumables that goes with it, so we signed with LCM, which is, which is a manufacturer or chemical company, manufacturing cleaning agents for especially the, the woodworking industry. And also we do have a sole agency for that as well, and we also had some good discussions with PUP tools, where at the moment we will not be able to get out of space like that. It's an open agency at the moment, um, but we have decided to start to support them and, and see how we can make their product go into the South African market as well. And that was the main ones that we secured and that we looked at. Basically, what we anticipated and what we wanted to be brought, we looked to move forward from there. What was the greatest milestone of Ligna? The best experience has been from our art partner. The manufacturer of high, high quality is when machines really superior to all the other machines in that specific class and market. And not only the technology, but the way of thinking of the company and how they would like to go forward and move forward with us as a partner it was really similar towards the way of thinking from REM side and the way of thinking how REM would handle their customers and what is important to our end. And these same principles are quite relevant at Ott as well. And that was the best meetings we had, definitely. Now, this Ott machine, I believe it's sort of the Rolls Royce of your edge banding machines. Now, does the market in South Africa require machines like this? At the moment, the market actually needed these machines 10 years back. The thinking in South Africa was always that labor was really cheap. And if you look at the value payments or salary payments on a monthly basis, yes, it is still cheap for the amount of hands that you get, but the productivity of those hands and the 
if you really go and start to measure that product liberty, it's really low, so it becomes really expensive. Together with economic environment from the beginning of the year towards now that we're at least 50 ongoing legal strikes, which really comes into play when you have machines that good quality machines and they can do the work, make no mistake, but they are labor and quite labor intensive at the end of the day. It puts you in a bad situation when you do have to, as a manufacturer, you have to get to deadlines, you have to, to keep your customer happy, you need to get look at turnaround times in certain types of industries. And the moment you have the cycle of deviation of personnel that's not at work, for instance, it's got a huge impact in, in your company's profit for the sort of the month and also turnovers, obviously, at a monthly basis. As all of us know, you need to have turnovers to cover on a monthly basis. A good turnover with each company is to cover over your overhead and obviously to show profits. So it doesn't really help you only working on a three-month basis or six-month basis. I mean, you can fall behind and to catch up on that is really difficult. So in my opinion, the market has really needed these type of edge banners already a long time ago. And only now people are really, or customers or manufacturers are really understanding that and seeing the value in full automatic edge banning machines. Now, being fully automatic, what kind of support is there in South Africa if the machine were to break down or you need a service or something along those lines? The technical side where my partner, Johan Swart, is running is really important to us. And in that case, with regards to the technical staff, that is his responsibility to make sure that, that we have enough technical staff, not only in our branch or our head office branch in Centurion, but also in all other branches that we are opening in the future. So at the moment, it's really important to get whichever staff we have with regards to the technical staff really up to date and he's investing a lot of time and money in training and knowledge and to get these technicians or engineers really up to date and up to scratch to being able to either assist you over a telephone or if you're far away obviously or as quickly as possible get to your premises and fix any problem that you do have because of course let's face it it's a machine and with a lot of working parts and for sure you will have to have backup service. And that is really one of the main emphasis that we have put on REM is to make sure that this department is really function the utmost. And yeah, and after that we also starting to look at, at a virtual support center which only is open in the near future. But basically we need to do that. If you look at a hot edge banner, you do have an internet link on these machines, which means that we can support you out of wherever we can boot up a laptop and have an internet connection. Together with that, we have the support of our partner Hot, which enables them also to either communicate more effectively with us, with the technology that we have, either cell phones, pictures, iPads, video clips that we need to take, send Skype calls, whatever the case may be, to make it more effective. And we like using the technology that's available at the moment. And that all of these little things will, at the end of the day, make sure that the customer has the least breakdown time. So the moment he's going to have got an asshole, we can sort it out as quickly as possible. In closing, what are your plans to move forward with the edge trainers? How do you plan on getting the name out there in the market? Look, obviously, at the moment, we have sold a few odd machines already. We've got quite a big demand on different models and different systems and solutions. And what would be nice is that Ott has got five different models that they manufacture with different configurations on each model, which means that we are trying to push these five models into the market, into the correct production facility to make sure that we do have good references. Together with that, we write on quite a bit marketing campaign to elaborate on that. We're using media such as magazines, the internet, Google, emails, SMSs. We have stock machines on our floor so that we can send the customers with decent demonstrations on exactly what they are going to buy. And if it's the case that we don't have a machine in stock and we need to go to a customer that's got something, we can also do that. And also, additionally to that, we're more than willing to take a customer to Europe to have a look at a big solution that might not get be in South Africa, but might maybe this would be the right solution for a specific customer. So, so there's many ways of making sure that at the end of the day, you have the peace of mind as the customer to make the purchase. 
It doesn't help you just purchase on a paper. And on machines in this class, you really need to buy into a solution and you need to visualize that this is how you're going to save. You're going to save on labor, you're going to save on maintenance, you're going to save on production, you're going to increase the production, your quality is going to increase. In other words, you put yourself in a different market to or a different class towards your own competitors. And I think that word of mouth is also really important to us. Fantastic. Well, Stefan, thank you very much for your time. We look forward to talking to you again about the new ventures and the new supply. If you'd like to know more about the products, you can go to www.rem-sa.co.za or you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For more podcasts, you can go to our YouTube page.